What is going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome again to another video for World of Dragon S. I'm just sitting here. I've been grinding Manticore and as you can see I'm almost up to you know my missions is almost up and uh, uh, my crystals are almost up and you know we've, we're at 67 basically three more levels before I can max everything so uh, what's up today today I want to talk to you guys about economies okay and how economies actually work because um, uh, if you ever wondered uh, or if you're ever thinking of switching servers because a lot of people have been uh, switching servers lately uh, with the release of the three new servers and you know with uh, we're, we're just gonna make a comparison okay now um, we're gonna make a comparison for the basis of uh, we want to give some uh, some input out there as to you know why these economies are as they are okay is it really just because of the cheaters or is it because of the people in the economy because in this game if you want to do long term if, if you're planning to do uh, uh, to do this game long term you have to know and understand the economies right and how they work and how you can help in your server as a player so that all of you guys in the entire server can grow together stronger together because eventually the time will come that we are going to do the cross server pvp tournament so time will come that when the cross server pvp tournaments come the strongest people have the strongest server okay so let's just make a comparison here real quick all right about these economies um i know there's a lot of servers uh with world of dragon s but let's try and compare the uh the first three and the last three servers. We got Carahan, Lunaria, Carahan, Lunaria, and Aisha. And of course, uh, Cerberus, Apocalypse, and Manticore. Okay, the first three and the last three. Let's start with the first three, okay? Let's start with Cerberus and let's try and see, just, you know, just assess what their server looks like when it comes to their economy, okay? Um, I basically created one character for each server, but I don't want to go through the entire uh, you know a list of servers that are available because that will be too time-consuming Let's just make a comparison for the first three and the last three. So the first thing we have to look at <clears throat> uh, There's two things that we, we need to look at for each server. So this is Cerberus. Okay, let's look at their economy for now and uh, the best basis for us for their economy would be um, Would be the supplies. Okay as to how expensive their supplies are for me, I'm used to buying the, the unique uh, special materials, specifically the Velska, Geraint, and Goddess of Breath. So I would know and have a better assessment as to if we base it on Velska, for example, uh, we would have a better assessment as to if their economy is strong or if there's something wrong with their economy in the server, okay? So so let's see, Velska here is selling for 155000 That for me is you know a little bit of a concern because uh, if um, uh, if uh, if I'm a player uh, that you know that, that wants to go pursue ancient and look at this um, oh see the uh, you know these things are these things are cheap but uh, oh, this is sea dragon okay yeah it's a uh, hmm I think their economy is a little bit higher more expensive than the others okay um, if you're going to transfer to Cerberus, um, I'm not discouraging you for, for doing so, okay? Um, if you're going to transfer to this server, you'd probably need a whole lot of green diamonds, see? So that probably will not... Let's see the people, how strong they are. Okay. Well, Nang is very, very strong. Well, it's obvious he's at 281 since they're the first server that was established. Uh, it's pretty strong. You can see all his... Um, uh, what do you call this? All his... Uh, Transcend levels at plus three and plus four already. This is he's pretty strong. Okay All right, what about the others? So 281 265 265 it's not it's not that bad and um, I think you know the guys here are strong um, Overall for Cerberus, I think I think it's okay. Well, let's try another server. All right Let's try another server because um, uh, I've had uh, I've heard a lot of uh, things about the uh, the other servers. Let's try Apocalypse. 
Okay. Again, it's important for you as a player to know these these things so that you can help the entire server as a whole. You know, it's not just more on competition between the guilds, but it's also competition competition between the servers. And this should be a basis for you whether you know you're uh, if you have a character in these servers, whether you know you think you have a bigger chance of actually moving up your character or not. Let's let's check the special materials. Okay, this is Apocalypse. What? They don't even have Bell Scud for sale? I mean, that, that's bad. That's Car City. What? Are you kidding me? Who prices stuff like this, man? A Felly Sword for 888 million? And this is for Apocalypse, okay? Apocalypse server. Are you kidding me, guys? <laughs> Two million for a lion bow? Oh goodness! <laughs> um, let, let's check the people here. Moon Lake, Moon Lake is the number one player. It's pretty tough. See? Okay, so let me just discuss to you what happens here. Okay, you see, this type of economy is very, very. Ex it's an expensive economy. And if I were in, I, and if I was in this server. You know, I, you know, I, I, I think I'd, th I'd weigh my options, okay? Because the economy is too expensive, obviously. And if the economy is too expensive, then you might have a hard time putting your character back up, okay? Because you end up, if you're a P2P player, you'd end up, you know, wanting to spend more on blue diamonds for conversion, and you know, things like that. So, why did this happen to this server, okay? Number one, a lot of people have uh, messaged me about this. Number one reason why this could have happened is that there are a lot of bots. <laughs> and you know who you are. There are a lot of people just creating characters just for farming. And that's that wouldn't be exciting for a server if you have a lot of that. And I've got friends doing that. Uh, don't get me wrong, okay? But if you are going to farm green diamonds, the only way for you to help the server is to actually spend it, okay? If you're farming green diamonds and you're just hoarding it, you know, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a law of supply and demand. So if you're hoarding green diamonds, you got, you know, 10 characters who are, you know, just farming 24-7 for your main character for green diamonds, right? Or red diamonds, that is. So if you're farming this and you're not spending it, you're actually not helping the server um, itself, okay? Because the law of supply and demand is that if if you're hoarding something, if a store hoards sacks of rice, right, so the prices would go up. So, but if you actually spend it, or if you actually release those sacks of rice, then prices would go down due to competition. Well, good luck to the server. It looks like we've got uh, pretty strong people here, though, uh, despite their economy. Uh, but for me, if you're thinking of transferring server uh, or starting new character, I wouldn't recommend this server. Um, Maybe you're better off with uh, something else. Let's try Manticore. Manticore has been uh, one of the first three servers. Uh, let's try their server. I've heard a lot of stories about Manticore. Um, okay, let's try the supplies. Let's get for best gods. Five million? <laughs> what the F? What the F, bro? Oh my goodness. Look at this. 38 million. Green Dragon Sword. How about the Cleric? 34 million. Oh my God. Just a piece of advice to the Manticore people, especially those who are already millionaires. Um, I would suggest that you flush out your green diamonds in the exchange, okay? I would highly recommend that just to level up your level just to even the playing field in your economy because this will be unfair this is this type of economy would be this is where the rich get richer the poor get poorer okay those are the those who are already at the top or who has a lot of farmers will, will you know will make themselves even richer but for manticore i think it's important that you guys should start spending your green diamonds okay I mean, it's not too late, okay? And everyone in the server should help out. Everyone in the server should help out in order for to, you know, for the server to stabilize their, their economy. 
Um, mm, I wouldn't recommend Manticore if you are starting a new character or, you know, planning to transfer to another server. I wouldn't recommend it. You know, I think it's better if we we check the, the, the latest uh, three servers. The, uh, I think Lunaria, the, you know, the, the three servers that was uh, recently released. Carahan, let's, let's check Carahan. Let's try Karahan. I think uh, Karahan, uh, Karahan is, a, is a good server to be in. <clears throat> so the, the economies are, are really, you know, uh, very, very important. Look at this. And it's important for the people who has, you know, unique items not to overprice. You know, this is, this is an okay price. This is about the same price as what we have in the server, in our server in Berlin. Um, okay. Yep, I think I think Carahan is good. I think uh, I think Carahan is okay. See, look at this. This was priced 38 million in the other servers. Look at that. So the economy basically is more stable here in Carahan. Okay, so it's just like our economy in Berlin. I don't want to promote Berlin, but you know, Carahan is basically uh, more stable. Okay, and this is also the reason why um, I, I know a lot of people have their own farmers. They're 24/7 farmers, but. Um, uh, yeah, Karahan is good. Karahan is a, is a good server. Let's see. Let's check out who's Athena. Wow, a warrior. 270 CP. Look at Athena, man. She is gonna kick ass. She's just ready to push that sword in your throat, dude. <laughs> Kensuke is, uh, yeah, ranger and archer from, from Guild Genocide. Shout out. Uh, Overcome TH. Wow. Warriors have the best costumes man i mean they just look the best <laughs> in my opinion okay no offense archers are cool too and of course clerics <laughs> clerics are so so when it comes to costumes but uh, warriors look at that that's just a badass warrior man uzi mandias you're a badass warrior dude <laughs> okay let's go check the uh the last two servers okay so, uh, you know, this, 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 uh, Karahan is okay. Karahan is uh, essentially got everything under control. Their leaders, basically, you know, they really spend and uh, a lot of people. Well, one thing that can make a service economy go bad is when you got a lot of people, you got, uh, when you've got a lot of people actually um, making a lot of bots and, you know, cheating, like duplicating items, though, that's just gonna, oh, God, God, I died. That's just gonna. That's that's basically just going to um, uh, ruin the economy in a way. Um, wait, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Come on, guys, give me a break. Okay, Kale is my archer, and um, okay, there. Okay, let's let's check out the this server. Um, let's check out the supplies, special materials. Let's base on vessel. Wow, that's 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 still above. It. <laughs> that's expensive, man. The Velskut here, one Velskut is seven hundred thousand. Um, you know, <laughs> that's uh, that's expensive. Look at this, nine hundred seventy, close to one million. See, this one in Carahan, it sold for I think thirty thousand, thirty-eight thousand, as, as as if I rec remember it properly. Okay, now here it's one point four million. So you, you, play, you, you need to pay five, six times, I think, no, five times, more than five times the price. No, more than, no, not 350, 3,000 times the price if you are here in this server. Uh, let's see who's, uh, who are the leaders here. We got Mordred. Yeah, Mordred is uh, uh, in swords. Uh, Warriors just just look so badass. Okay. Yeah. Well. Good luck to you guys. <laughs> it's very hard for you to progress in a server that has a bad economy. Okay. And you have to really assess. You have to really pick your options and weigh your options. And if you're already one of the leaders in the server, uh, economy-wise, you know, it's very important for you to understand how the economy works. So. 
if you're hoarding those green diamonds please please just spend those green diamonds in the exchange okay I don't care what you do I don't care if you buy something and sell it for a profit so just spend those because uh, uh, green diamonds because it's just the law of supply and demand okay and this goes out to everyone you need to check and assess your servers so that you'd have a better understanding is to hey why am I why is my character not you know not moving up that fast you see because uh, it, it's also up to the economy of the server and it has to be just like in a country it has to be that everyone has to work together okay that's really really important it's important that not everyone no one is overcharging no one is hoarding green diamonds you know you just play you know me <clears throat> um, you can always see my character and I don't hoard green diamonds okay I don't hoard red or green diamonds I basically spend them I mean what's the purpose of money right but to make your character strong <laughs> okay let's go to Aisha this is the newest server what the F is this man <laughs> seven million oh yeah seven million for one bill scan that is effing crazy that is effing crazy that's so friggin expensive okay let's check the warriors green dragon sword and yeah, they don't have it but how about the lion the lion sword costs 1.5 million are you kidding me right now <laughs> are you friggin kidding me one look at this one is to one exchange for gold oh man good luck Aisha <laughs> Okay, let's let's check this out. Mamao is leading with 159. So this is exactly what I'm telling you. Aisha is kind of new, okay? But Mamao is leading the way. I'm sure he's a good player here, but look at his items. He's having trouble. Uh, obviously, he's having trouble getting the ancients, okay? And he's having trouble getting all the other items because uh, one reason of which is that the economy is so freaking expensive. Look at this. Laz Razor, okay, from Scion. Uh, he's the leading academic here and he's basically having trouble upping his equipments right because it's just so expensive look at this they're still at sea, sea dragon um, it's just so expensive again the law of supply and demand is that I think a lot of people are hoarding here or you know a lot of people are still doing the cheat the duplication and the, and the refund you know you know <laughs> It's, it's one thing it's one thing to to lead the CP race but it's another thing to you know to, to just enjoy the game guys okay it's not all about winning okay it's all about just essentially just enjoying the game okay so I think that uh, that uh, wraps up our observation for the servers and uh, I hope this has helped you though and I hope this has uh, helped you realize that hey what can I do to make my server better okay Number one that you can do is don't hoard green diamonds or red diamonds. If you have a lot of farmers, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that since Identity and Nexon hasn't had any problem with that, okay? Um, if you have a lot of farmers, that's fine. But please, please do. Look at, look at my server. Please do spend those green diamonds for the sake of, you know, balancing the economy of the server, okay? So see, my one bell scud is 30,000, whereas compared to Aisha, it's 7.8 million. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> and I think that's it for today. Um, I'd, like to, um, uh, I'd like to give my shout out. I'm sorry, I forgot. I'll, I'll make sure I'll, I'll give you your shout out in the next videos, okay, guys? I'm sorry again. I'll see you guys on the next guide. Ciao for now. Take care. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Stay inside World of Dragoness. I love you. Bye.